Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our main event of the evening. Uh, scheduled for five two-minute rounds in the women's lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, please welcome to the Trigon, Jessica Link. The nice bird, Jessica Link, making her way to the Trigon, one and one in her professional bare knuckle boxing career. Rhino talked about the background in law enforcement. She does have revenge on her mind down the road. Let's just say Monica Medina wins the rematch against Patty Juarez. Jessica Link wins tonight. Jessica Link and Monica Medina fought in bare knuckle MMA. And Monica walked away with the victory. Another note that is uh, one that I think fans will enjoy. June 24th this year, Bella Mir, the daughter of Frank Mir, the UFC Hall of Famer, finished Jessica Link in MMA by armbar in the very first round. Now, those are the stories of her setbacks. Tonight, she wants to tell the story, Benny, about a big victory over Pink Tyson. Exactly. She got a good man to train her, Ross Purity. Ross Purity, who knocked out Klitschko, one of the few people on earth that could say that, and uh, has really prepared herself really well for this thing. So Southpaw, and she's going to come here and try to make that fight difficult for Karuni, and we'll see. And her opponent fighting out of the red corner. Please welcome Kalia Kurani. Born and raised in Sparta, Greece. Now living and training in Miami. One of her training partners, Britton Hart, Britton Hart Beltran, who is one of the best in bare knuckles. She's trained at Mayweather's in Las Vegas with Floyd Mayweather Sr., Otis Pimpleton. She had a lot of success in her professional boxing career, 12 and 2. Her two losses were both by decision, but now it's time to continue her legacy. And she wants to show that not only does she love and embrace all disciplines of fighting Pauly, her kickboxing second to none, but that she can be successful in all different forms of combat. And she's a born fighter. I mean, you, you hear you hear Coroni talk, and you can the passion and enthusiasm for fighting, for combat sports, oozes out of her. She really loves what she does. She's always striving to improve more. She loves to win. She loves to compete. She she is her own worst critic, even in fights she wins. Um, and I, you know, I expect to see a lot out of her tonight. You know, she's uh, somebody who breathes and lives that passionately about what they're doing to the point where you can just understand it just in the way they speak about it. You know, you know that they're working hard and you're, you're looking forward to the improvements that they, keep t they continue to make in their style. The show that she is set to put on is the one that will take place in the Trigon because, Benny, she made the decision. No walk-in music. I'm going to walk into the crowd. I don't want any music. I'll do my dancing against Jessica Link. And again, that's probably part of her dad's upbringing. Her dad passed away when she was 15 years old, but he trained her for this moment. And one of the things that she's done, she's traveled all over the world. She moved from, from Greece to Germany to the UK, and then she moved to Miami, and then finally now in Tijuana, now also training there. Her greatest influence, Roberto Duran. This has become our main event. Here is Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your BYP main event of the evening. Scheduled for five two-minute rounds in the women's lightweight division, presented by RTSP Forms. So I need everybody in the arena joining us in the back to try on time to get up out of your seats. Oh! 
Sam Burgess gets us started with what is now our main event of the evening. Karuni and Link. Here we go. Jessica Link, the southpaw. Talia Karuni with the white top on. Bad intentions on the back of the shorts. Uh, Jessica Link, multicolored, trim and black so, and so. green trunks. The and white so top, and the and black so pants great. for Pink and Tyson. So and what Pink Tyson's gonna do in this fight, she's gonna fight long. She's gonna fight from the distance, not let Karuna get inside on her. And she's gonna try to use that jab and then hook off of it. Stop, 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 stop. Not in the back of the head. Not in the back of the head. Let's go. Link has only been fighting and training for about five years. She was introduced to the gym to stay active, but again, with her background and the way that she's been around the different sports in, obviously, criminal justice graduate at Wichita State, she knows a little something about confrontation. I like the way Coroni sets up things off the feints, but she's got to keep her punches a little shorter off those feints. She actually gets Link reacting, but then isn't able to make her pay because she's throwing a little bit too wide with those shots. Link, on the other hand, trying to fight off the back foot and set up counters, but she's allowing Coroni to enter the punch zone too easily. So far, though, nobody playing anything major. It's interesting with Karuni. She starts out, loses the very first kickboxing fight. Then she reels off 49 consecutive wins. Amazing. That's, that's the kind of spirit she's got. As she says, Spartana, right? Ah, Spartana. The winner of this fight. On paper right now from the Hall of Fame, matchmaker Mel Valenzuela will face off against the winner of the rematch between Patty Juarez and Monica Medina. Ten seconds, ladies. Yeah, right now, neither girl is, has really been able to get into a gear where they, they're able to find a proper punching distance. They're both, they both, that whole round, they, they both sort of fell in on each other. And I never, I, I never really felt they got into any kind of punching distance. They, a lot of wrestling, a lot of holding and hitting, dirty boxing, which even that didn't produce much action. But I'm going to tell you right now, what's going to end the night is going to be Caroni's right hand. That right hand is going to get in there. And again, with the southpaw, she's, she's so upright, Link is. And even though she hasn't been able to exploit that, you mentioned about her being wide. I think it's just a matter of time before she measures that and comes straight down the pipe. Yeah, yeah. We'll see if she makes the adjustment in the next, next round. She set it up well. She smashed to execute it well. Pro kickboxing, professional boxing. So not surprising that Link tried to utilize the clinch, maybe lean on her a little bit, shorten the distance. But keep in mind that Kalia Karuni's late father was a world champion in Greco-Roman wrestling. So kalia has been around that a little bit too, Betty. But she's a street fighter. Yes. Oh, that's that big right hand you talk about, Benny. You started out the round with it. And she's sporting one white shoe and one black shoe. And no longer the white top. And when Karuni learns how to land the right hand and then move around, that's yeah. when she's going to be really effective. Yeah, it seems like maybe the Link southpaw stance has her a little bit confused as to what to do after she throws the shot. Step around, step around. Tally Karuni said, this is about my legacy. To showcase my versatility as a fighter. To prove I can fight anywhere, anyone. And right now she's trying right to hand. take it, yeah. This round, she's landed a few of them already. Jessica Link, one and one, as a professional bare knuckle combatant. And she's gone the distance, the five round distance in both of her fights. Link, Link fight, oh, good shot there by Kuruni again. Link fights in almost a counterpunching mentality, but what confuses me is she's front foot heavy. Her stance, if you're a counterpuncher, your stance should be on your back foot. Watch Link when they come back off this break. She's on her front foot, but then she's fighting in a, in a, in a counterpunching mentality. You see, she's on her front foot, but then she's, she's stepping back looking to counterpunch. If you're going to be a counterpuncher, your weight should be on your back foot so you can leverage that back step and then shoot that, that, that counter shot. It's almost like she's, she's in a confused state. Five years as a law enforcement officer, Link just got clipped by the right hand. Time. Listen up. 
Yep, a little warning for the shoulder. Don't use the shoulder like you just did. Don't do it again. Nikki's trying to make this a dirty fight. Yeah, yeah. She's trying to do whatever she can to go ahead and offset that right hand. Which, Benny, I think is the right approach for Jessica Link. Ladies, come on. Well, she no, said she was going to no, fight no, long. She was going to fight go. from a distance, Set use the jab, and then hook off of it. And that's what she's got to keep doing. Two-minute rounds. This is a non-title fight, so scheduled for five. If you joined us late, Gabriel Fryer, unfortunately, fell injured backstage at the hospital with a concussion we send our prayers to gabriel our thoughts our shout outs for working hard to get to tonight to desmond green that fight will happen sam liera jose fernandez will happen we got a lot to look forward to we got carlos guerra but you know the main event i mean that's just something i wanted to see so bad yeah it's such an incredible build-up between the, the exchange between the two and you can tell that was genuine and I thought it was going to be a great, great fight. So it's a shame it didn't happen. Shame about the accident. Let's go, let's go. The right hand by Coruni at the oh, beginning, earlier in the round. Big shot. Has she thrown it straight? She followed through a little wide and it kind of grazed Kuru, uh, Link's mouth. Had she thrown it down the pipe and punched right. through Link, she would have landed it a lot more solid. So round shot. There it is, just three. like that. And she's looking to land that right hand now. Stop. Stop. Don't throw. Back. In London, here will be Guerra and Seth Schaefer for the Police Gazette World and BYB welterweight belts. Stop, stop. And again, Step Link, back. just trying to make it nasty, make it dirty. Use her MMA experience, her bare knuckle MMA experience, and not allow Kalia Karuni to turn this into a boxing bout. Stop, stop, stop. Step back. And Karuni looks frustrated. She looks like, you know, she's just not able to execute what she would like to do. And she's switching back and forth herself between southpaw and right hand. And she she does that, but I think she's slower as a southpaw. Graduated from acting school. She is a dance instructor. And I, another form of combat in bare knuckle boxing for Pink Tyson. Our main event, Jessica Link. And she got clipped that time by Kalia Karuni. Karuni is in, pretty much in charge of this fight. It's just a matter of how, how good she wants to look in winning it. Because uh, unless Link makes a, a tremendous adjustment here, it's, I don't see Link pulling out this victory. But of course, you said she's in line for the winner of, uh, of, of the Patty Juarez fight. At this point, you're looking to win and be impressive so that you put a, sort of a thought process into the mind of a Patty Juarez. Uh, it's not really about winning this fight anymore. You, you, feel, you, you can see you're a, bit, you're a bit superior to this opponent, but are you scaring Patty Juarez? Are you putting any thoughts into the champion's mind with this performance? And I think right now, Guruni has some adjustments to make if she's going to be competitive with Juarez. Because we know that Juarez Medina 2 will be as great as and that's Juarez Medina 1 was. <laughs> Medina, yeah. Medina actually, I thought, won that first fight. So uh, that just should be a, a war in and of itself. Jessica Link not looking for the dirty dance, and she looked for the slow dance. Yeah. yeah. From a long distance. Yeah. And see, her trainer, he's from Tijuana. So she's been going down there to try to get some of the really good sparring down there in yeah. Tijuana. Interesting. Miguel Reyes. In Tijuana, everybody's tough. Cab drivers are tough. <laughs> been trapped by the clinch and the dirty work of Jessica Link as we hit round four. This fight scheduled for five. Purity wanting Link to put punches together, but in order to do that, she's got to start bossing the fight herself. She's got to put herself in a her body language has to, you know, be that of an initiator. And right now, she's not that of an initiator. Again, she, her mindset is trying to be a counterpuncher, but her physical stance has her on the front foot, so she's not really in a counterpunching stance. And some big shots by Karuni. 
Yeah, she's got to get off that heel. She's got to get on the balls of her feet and then use the power of the calf to turn into punches that she's just not doing that. She's going back right away. Yeah. I wouldn't say Gordoni wows you with her skill, honestly, but but her mentality is that of the boss, and, and she's bossing the fight because of it. See right there, Coroni came in way too close before he started punching. You know, you got to start punching at, at a little bit of a longer range than you punch your way in. Coroni got all the way in close and then started punching and smothered herself because of it. She's almost too anxious to look good, and, and, and it's affecting her own performance. There's, that right There's the right hand and that's that what Benny talked about. You're supposed to punch your way into that distance like that. And this might be the education of fighting in the trigon for Garuni. Very much so, Benny. And fighting bare knuckle, just in general, in the big picture, because you can get inside with the boxing gloves on, work some dirty boxing, then not worry about the clinch. Here in bare knuckle, Jessica Link's taking full advantage of slowing the attack by holding on. Yeah, it's like a move, counter move, move, counter move, and Link has had the right counter move to stop the power of Karuni. But, but, but Karuni closes the gap, crossing her feet in. And she's punching and she's crossing her feet in, and it's taking away her own power doing that. What Jessica Link has not to this point been able to do, though, is put on any offensive attack of her own. Yeah, yeah, she's got the shorts that say bad intentions, but she's very defensive minded. Nice lead hook there by. Coroni. She's not initiating anything. A better person with bad intentions is usually at least initiating something. Link is pretty much reacting instead of acting. Yes. to showcase that right hand that Benny talked about. She's got a minute and 40 seconds right now to do so. Rooney's got to learn how to walk the fighter down. You know, walk her down yeah. and then land your shot. She crosses that foot like you yeah. talked about, and that takes away from her ability yeah. to walk her down. So she's not on balance when so she's punching, so it's... Nothing there, and then she takes that too big of a step on that mid crossing her feet, and she smothers herself. All that professional kickboxing success and experience, different footwork that she was able to, to utilize in pro boxing and have some success, but it's definitely different when you now move to the clinch part, Benny. Yeah, because in, in kickboxing, you learn you lean back when you're going to strike, yes. and you can't do that here. Yeah, I could always remember in the boxing gym when the people were coming from kickboxing, their footwork was always a little bit more off because they, they were stepping as, as opposed to pushing off that back foot and sliding forward. Tapping that front foot, ready to throw the high kick. Yeah, but there was an example right there Polly was talking about. She had the right hand, then she crossed her foot, and she lost her leverage. Got a left to land on the chin of Jessica Link there. But you got to give it to Jessica. She has fought a great defensive fight. She knew how to make herself difficult to get hit because obviously Karuni's going to bring it. Yeah, Je but Jessica, uh, Jessica never tried to win the fight. That's my issue here, you know? Uh, she's just, she has succeeded in one thing, making Karuni not look that impressive. At the end of the day, Karuni has won this fight pretty, uh, pretty easily, but... She's not been impressive to the point where uh, Juarez or Medina are going to be at home wondering, you know, if they get by their next fight. 
you know, in their rematch, you know, that Guruni's going to be something to be scared of. So Guruni's going to have definitely some, some things to work on coming off of this fight. And she said that herself, right? I mean, she said that she, a lot of times she wins fights and she goes home and she, she thinks she thinks she's got she's to work on. And certainly, I think, uh, in this fight, it's, uh, it's, it's the footwork for sure. Jessica Link's greatest success, unfortunately, came yesterday at the official win. <laughs> Yeah, and you know, one of the things that I just caught my attention here, Erin Toil, she's trying to get Karuni's attention because she'd love to, to fight her. There's a bad blood there between oh, yeah. them, too. And I just caught my attention right there watching her, the way she's pointing at her. It's awesome to have Aaron officially as part of the BYB Extreme family on the podcast with Brandon. And yeah. Two professional boxers who have had a lot of success as professional boxers. I would say the Irish and the Greek, they don't like each other Kalia Karuni. She's going to earn a victory here in our main event and her first professional bare knuckle outing. And the best thing she can do, though, much to Paulie's point, Benny, is say, how do I avoid some of the things that Jessica Link did to me tonight in holding and grabbing and clutching? And how do I adapt my game to the Trigon and no glove? Well, the main thing she's got to do is worry about herself, and that is when you walk her down, you can't cross your leg. When you cross your leg, you lose your leverage, you lose your base of power. you got to go ahead and walk that, but in such a way that you move laterally and then able to go ahead and open up that right hand to be able to throw it or throw that left hook. But as soon as you cross that leg, you lost your punching power. Big Mo, our main event is now official. Ladies and gentlemen, after five full pounds, we go to the judges' short bar for the official decision. Judge Tate scores about 49 to 46, while judges Rupert and Marquez Shooter scores about 50 to 45, declaring your winner by unanimous decision. Keep Tyson! Come